it's been a pleasure these last several weeks to present um, several events that highlight various rather different components of political and social life in the Republic of Armenia. It wasn't really planned that way, it's just the way it worked out. On June 17th, we heard Bartan Oskanyan assess or reflect on his 10 years as foreign minister of Armenia. One might have agreed with his assessments or not, but it was definitely a compelling evening. Two weeks ago, we heard from a group of social work professionals from Armenia who were visiting the area on a program with the Cambridge Yerevan Sister City Association. And theirs was, of course, a very different look at conditions in Armenia from their perspective. Tonight, we return to the realm of international politics and foreign policy from the point of view of a scholarly analyst, Dr. Diane Novikova, who is the founder and director of the Spectrum Center for Strategic Analysis in Yerevan. She's an experienced researcher in the security and politics of Armenia and the South Caucasus. She served at the Department of Arabic Studies of the Institute of Oriental Studies and the National Academy of Sciences in Armenia and the Armenian Center for National and International Studies. She's the author of more than 60 articles and four monographs. She's the editor of 12 collections of articles published by the Center for Strategic Analysis, uh, including these, oh, three. Yeah. It was two a little while ago. It's now become three. Uh, including these three uh, bilingual collections. Is this one bilingual also? No. no. These are bilingual Armenian-Russian. This one is in English uh, on various... She can tell you about them. Since the last fall, she has been Fulbright visiting uh, research scholar at the Davis Center for Russian and Eurasian Studies at Harvard, carrying out work on the South Caucasus between Russia and the West and she will now speak to us about the 2008 five-day war and ships and security in the South Caucasus. Thank you. to deliver a lecture at Nasser, etc. distinguished and special audience, and I am very grateful to Nasser for having me here. I am happy to see here in the audience my good friends, many familiar faces, and among them my American mom, Rita, and my best friend, Jana. Thank you for coming and support me. I have convinced that... <laughs> I have convinced... I, I have to convince that for me the lecture at Nasser is a great challenge as, I, as well as I never deliver speech in Armenian diaspora. And before making a final decision, before assessing my own courage to be here, I have participated in different events, attended some lectures, had some discussions with the people here, and I am really delighted by your involvement into each issue related to Armenia. Let me say a couple of words. Mark was so kind to introduce our center, but I would like to add just a couple of words. Today is the eighth anniversary of our center, and I am really very proud of our work, what we do, and I hope we will continue to do. So uh, among our works, there is an anthology of regional security issues. And this one. And we have published four with the support of Germans foundation. We have really, you know, some difficult and different projects, research projects supported by another organizations. We had the privilege to have four international conferences with the NATO headquarters support and Ministry of Foreign Affairs of Finland. So the center is very small. There are only eight people and each of us provide consulting in her or his uh, field of activity to the governmental and international structures and participate in conferences, delivering lectures, etc. So if you will have any if you have any question about the center, I will be happy to answer during our Q and A session. And now let me turn to my lecture. Mark was very kind to uh, provide the help and I will ask him from time to time to list the slides. So as far as the theme of my presentation is quite tough, 
uh, I will speak about uh, political military issues in the area of the South Caucasus. So I decided to prepare some slides uh, which are including maps, tables and scripts. Yeah, this is the view from the Northern Caucasus and you can see how beautiful is this view. The next slide please. And this is political map of our region. The South Caucasus has been characterized as one of the most unstable regions of post-Soviet space since the early 90s. The security deficit, or in other words, insecurity, reached its late peak in August 2008 when the military actions on Georgian territory between Russia and Georgia were followed by drastic change in the configuration of the security structure in the South Caucasus and highlighted the role and the importance of each regional and non-regional actor. I will focus on the developments and motivation in Georgia. And then I am planning to touch some aspects of Armenian and Azerbaijani politics in the light of the situation in our neighboring country. I will examine uh, gains and losses of Russia and Turkey in the region as well. And if we will have enough time, maybe I will discuss with you also the issues of so-called external actors like US, EU and NATO. Next please. So as far as Georgia is a main so-called hero of the sharply changing status quo in the South Caucasus, let me start from it mentioning that the key point of my assessment as an Armenian analyst in regard to Georgia is the following. Georgia always, almost always poses in indirect security threat to Armenia. So the first part of my presentation has been named Georgia's strategic miscalculation. Since the proclamation of its independence, the multi-ethnic Georgia has aimed at creating just a national state using the quite strange approach that only Georgians are the real stakeholders of Georgian statehood and the national minorities are just guests of its territory. As a result of mistakes made by its first leadership, the country has faced the problem of restoration of its territorial integrity not solved up to now. I would like to show you just the following. So if you look at the map, you will see this is Abkhazia, one of the separatist regions of Georgia. This is Algeria, and these two republics have the autonomous status in, during the Soviet time. And the point where the war was broken is this so small place named South Ossia, just in the middle. So the war was broken there in August 2008. I don't want to concentrate now on the war issues, but let me say the following, that, yeah, sorry, that the situation in the conflict region is complicated because first, the confronting parties, I mean Georgian government, Abkhazian government and South Ossetian government are really in confronting and the population also. And there was a real war with losses and blood. And I would like to mention that in 1992, 1990s, Abkhazia and South Ossia proclaimed their national state sovereignty. So, the, there was a different vision of ways out of, from this conflict. Georgia's strategic goal was the restoration of the territorial integrity of the country 